it is a two-tier justice system. And, that, and this, you've heard this before. What does that mean? That means there's a set of rules and laws for the people that are close to power, like Jussie Smollett, who's very close to the Obamas, and he's very close to power. And there's a whole different set of rules for people that are considered to be enemies of power. And you see that with Michael Flynn, who's a total American hero, who, under a process crime, was convicted. And of course, if you commit a process crime, you should be convicted. But for $5 million, he's had to defend himself with legal fees on a process crime. Mind you, the FBI came into the White House. He was serving on the National Security Council. They entrapped him within the halls of the White House. He asked, do I need a lawyer here? They said, oh, no, no, it's just a friendly chat. This is what the FBI said to him. They trapped him in. They said, you lied to us, which he did, not defending the lie whatsoever. But he now had to defend himself for $5 million and still might face prison time, where Jussie Smollett was 16 felony indictments, indict indictments, indicted by a grand jury. The mayor of Chicago came out, who's not exactly a right winger. Rahm Emanuel's not exactly, he couldn't run as a conservative down here in South Carolina. Let's just, he says this is one of the greatest injustices he's seen and a whitewash of justice. And what's the recourse? That, you know what it means? If you fake a hate crime, you can get away with it. If you make things up, you can get away with it. And that justice is supposed to be blind. You actually see Lady Justice in the Supreme Court. She has a blindfold over her for a reason, because justice is not supposed to be based on color or on gender or connectivity. 